In this video, we'll explore user management in Linux, one of the most essential skills for any Linux user or system administrator. In Linux, the user add command is used to create new users. To create a user named new user, type sudo user add new user. Next, we'll set a password for this user using the password command. You'll be prompted to enter and confirm the password. Make sure to follow your system's password complexity rules. By default, this creates a user with a home directory and the default shell. But what if you want to customize these settings? For example, to specify a home directory in shell, type user add command along with the flags shown. Here. M creates the home directory. D specifies the directory path. S sets the user's login shell. Groups in Linux make managing permissions easier for a set of users. To create a group, use the group add command. Now let's add a user to this group. The AG flag appends the user to the group. Without it, the user's existing groups could be overridden. To check which groups a user belongs to, use groups command. This is especially useful when managing permissions for shared resources like directories or files. If you ever need to update a user's details, the user mod command is your go-to tool. For example, to change a user's login name. Or, if you want to move their home directory, the M flag moves the user's existing files to the new directory automatically. Now, let's look at how to delete a user. The user del command makes this simple. But this doesn't delete their home directory. To remove the user along with their home directory, use hyphen r. Be cautious with this command as it permanently deletes the user's data. User management goes hand in hand with file permissions. To check permissions on a file, use the ls l command. Here, the permissions are divided into three groups, owner, group, and others, with r, w, and x standing for read, write, and execute. To change the owner of a file use chown command. And to modify permissions use chmod command. The numbers 755 are a shorthand for permissions, where each digit represents the owner, group, and others. The values are calculated like this. Security is key, and setting password policies ensures users update their passwords regularly. To set the maximum number of days before a password expires use chh command followed by hyphen m. To check a user's current password policy use hyphen l flag. These policies are critical for maintaining system security. Lastly, let's troubleshoot common issues. If you encounter permission denied errors, check the user's group membership using ID followed by username. Also, verify directory permissions and ensure the user has the correct access rights. Use the chmod and chown commands to fix these issues. That's it for today's tutorial on user management in Linux. We've covered everything from creating users to managing groups, permissions, and passwords. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more Linux tutorials. Let me know in the comments which topic you'd like me to cover next. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.